Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about something called surface area. So the surface area is the sum of all the faces of a shape. So when I have a three-dimensional object, I have an object that has faces on this side and this side and the top and the bottom and so on and so forth. And I know that when I open it up to a net, I can see those faces a little clearer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of this face, of this face, of this face, this face, this face, and this face. And once I find all those areas, I'm going to I'm going to add them all together. So I'm going to find the sum. So how to find the surface area? First thing that we're going to do is we're going to determine what are the faces of the 3D shape. So it, depending on what 3D shape I have, once I unfold it into a net, I may have triangles, I may have rectangles, so on and so forth. I'm going to calculate the area of each face, and then I'm going to add them all together. All right, so let's take a look at this first example here. Here I have a rectangular prism, and we know that a rectangular prism has six faces, which is why I have face one, face two, face three, face four, face five, face so we're going to pick any face to start with, and it does not matter. And I'm going to start with this face first, the one that's directly in front of me. And so that has a base of 7 and a height of 4. And so 7 times 4 is going to be 28 feet squared. Now, with rectangular prisms, each, saw, each face is always going to have a face that matches itself. So the face on the other side of the rectangle is going to be the exact same thing, 28 feet squared. Now I'm going to erase the lines that I wrote here. And now I'm going to go with this face right here. So this has a base of 5, and this height right here is the same as this height right here, which is 4. So that's also 4. So 5 times 4 is 20 feet squared. And I'm going to make a duplicate of that as well because that is the exact same as its match. Its mirror on the other side it has a height of 4, and this base right here is the same as this one, which is 5. All right, and then I have 2 left. So I'm going to do this top face and the bottom face. So this is 7, and the height of it is 5. So 7 times 5 is 35 feet squared. And its mirror is on the top right up here. This is 7, and this is 5. Now that I have all of the faces, all I need to do is take my calculator and add them up. So 28 plus 28 plus 20 plus 20 plus 35 plus 35, and that's going to give me 166 feet squared. All right, next one. So this is also a rectangular prism, but I've opened it up into a net. And when I give you the net already, it's definitely a lot easier than when I give you the solid, and I'll show you why. So here, I've already even color-coded them for you. This guy is going to match this one right here, and it has a base of 15 and a height of 10. And so 15 times 10 is going to be 150, and that's going to match that one. So I have 150 inches squared. 150 inches squared. Now I'm going to do these blue ones here, and this one is going to match this one. So this has a base of 10, and it also has a height of 10. And so 10 times 10 is going to be 100. So I have 100 inches squared, 100 inches squared. Now I have this one here left, and the one on the inside left. So this right here has a base of 15, 
and this height is the same as this height, which is the same as this height, which is the same as this, which is the same as this, which is 10. And so 150 times, or sorry, 15 times 10 is 150. And so for both of those, it's going to be 150 inches squared, 150 inches squared. And so now what I need to do is find the sum of all of that. So 150 plus 150 plus 100 plus 100 plus 150 plus 150. And so that's going to give me a surface area of 800 inches squared. Now we're going to move on to a different shape to the triangular prism here. So um, I only have five faces on the triangular prism. I have two rectangles on the end and then I have, or sorry, two triangles on the end and then I have three rectangles throughout. So let's start with the triangles first because they're always going to match each other. So here I have a triangle and so the base of my triangle is 15 and the height of my triangle is 8. And so I'm going to do 15 times 8 times 0 0.5. And that's going to give me 60. And so I'm going to have 60 meters squared and 60 meters squared. Because this triangle is going to be an exact match of that triangle right there. All right, let's take a look at our rectangles now. So we'll do the one on the bottom first, the one that it's sitting on, this one right here. So this one has a base of 15 and a height of 20. So 15 times 20 is going to be 300 meters squared. Erase that one. Now we'll do this one in the back here. And remember, it really doesn't matter what order you do them in, because at the end of the day, you're adding them all up. So this one right here, had this base right here is going to match this base right here. So that's going to be 20, and then its height is 8. So when we do 20 times 8, we're going to get 160 meters squared. And then the last rectangle that we have is the one that's kind of sloping down, kind of like a skateboard ramp. And that's this one right here. And so it has a base of 20 and a height of 17. And so 20 times 17 is going to be 340 meters squared. So I'm going to go ahead and add all those up, 60 plus 60 plus 300 plus 160 plus 340, and that's going to give me 920 meters squared. Now, I still have a triangular prism here, but this time I have the net version of it, okay? And the nets are usually easier to work with. So first I'm going to take a look at my triangle here, and remember the other triangle is going to be a match. So the base of this triangle is going to be the same as this, which is Three. And this is the height here, 4. Remember, the height is not the slanted part. So we're going to do 3 times 4 times 0 0.5, and that's going to give me 6 centimeters squared. And this triangle over here is an exact match of it, so 6 centimeters squared. All right, now I have this rectangle right here. It has a base of 4 and a height of 3. So 4 times 3 is going to be 12 centimeters squared. I also have this triangle right here. I mean, this rectangle right here has a base of 3, and the height is also 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 centimeters squared. And then I have this rectangle on the end, and that has a base of 5, and the height is also 3 from the other side. So 5 times 3 is 15 centimeters squared. So now that I have all my faces, I'm simply going to add them up. 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 9 plus 15, and that's going to give me 48 centimeters squared. All right, next example is a rectangular pyramid, okay? And I know that a pyramid has, you know, one base on the bottom and then a bunch of triangles around it. So in total, we're going to have five faces. 
So I'm going to deal with this rectangle or this square on the bottom first. So I have 3 times 3, which is 9 inches squared. Now, when I have a square on the bottom, all of my triangles are going to be mirrors of each other. They're all going to be the exact same thing. So here I have a triangle. Oops, that's not the best drawing, but you can kind of get the picture there. So it has a base of 3 and a height of 4.5. So 3 times 4.5 times 0 0.5 is going to be 6.75 inches squared. Now the reason why they're all going to be the same if I have a square on the bottom is because they're all going to have the same base of 3. 3. 3. 3. And they all have the same height of 4.5. So now that I have all of those, I can add them up. So 9 plus 6.75 plus 6.75 plus 6.75 plus 6.75. So I'm going to get 36 inches squared. All right, now here's a rectangular pyramid that does not have a square on the bottom, and it's a net as well. So this one has a rectangle on the bottom, which I'm going to solve first. So it has a base of 8 and a height of 6. So 8 times 6 is going to be 48 centimeters squared. Now, remember with the last one, I had a square on the bottom. And since all sides were the same, all the triangles are going to be the same. Well, not in this case. So let's work with this triangle right here. So this right here is the same as this. And so these two triangles are going to be exactly the same. So it has a base of 8 and a height of 14. So 8 times 14 times 0 0.5 is going to give us 56 centimeters squared. Now the other two triangles are also going to be the same. So this is 6 and this is 6. This, the height is 12. This height here is going to be 12. And so 6 times 12 times 0 0.5 is going to give us 36 centimeters squared. And once I have all of these, I can add them all up. So 48 plus 56 plus 56 plus 36 plus 36. And that's going to give us 232 centimeters squared. Okay, here we have a triangular pyramid. So with a triangular pyramid, the, the bottom of it, what it sits on, is going to be a triangle. And so here's our bottom. And so the base of it is 4, and the height of that bottom triangle is 3.5. So we're going to do 4 times 3.5. Oops. 4 times 3.5 times 0 0.5. And that's going to give us 7 feet squared. And I erase that one there. Now you'll see here that this side is 4, this side is 4, and this side is 4. And it's labeled that way. So because our triangle on the bottom, all three sides are the same, then our triangles up top are going to be the same when we go to measure them. So we'll look at this triangle right here that's facing us directly. And so this has a base of 4, a height of 5. So 4 times 5 times 0 0.5, that's going to be 10 feet squared. And that's going to be the same for all of them. When I add all these up, 7 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, I'm going to get 37 feet squared. Now here I have a net of a triangular pyramid. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with the one in the middle because I think it sometimes it's the easiest. So the base of the triangle is 3, 
and the height of the triangle is 6. So 3 times 6 times 0 0.5 is going to be 9 inches squared. Now, if you see this here, this side is 3, this side is 6, and this side is 6. So only these two triangles are going to match. This one here and this one here is going to match. This one's going to be different. Okay. So I have a base of 6 and a height of 5.2. So 6 times 5.2 times 0 0.5. That's going to be 15.6 inches squared. And I just realized, oh, yeah, that says inches. I thought it said meters. All right, I'm going to erase this here. And our last triangle that we need to do is this one here. So it has a base of 3 and a height of 5.8. So 3 times 5.8 times 0 0.5. And that's going to be 8.7 inches squared. And now that I have all the faces, I just add them up. 9 plus 15.6 plus 15.6 plus 8.7. And that's going to give me 48.9 inches squared. All right, that is the end of this video, and we will do a lot of practice with surface area. Good luck.